Hey everyone, it's Clint. Welcome to Sweetcast. I love comics. I love writing comics. This is what I want to do with my life, is write comics. And even if I couldn't for some reason, if I had a terrible accident and couldn't write any longer, I would still want to read comics. I want the medium to survive. It feels like, though, that the people in charge don't. <laughs> they just don't care. There's so much wrong with comics right now, and it's, I'm starting to realize that it's the people in charge just don't care anymore. They're driving it like some Soviet made truck into the ground. Like it, it is, you know, it's way over miles and they're going to keep driving it until the wheels fall off. Not only that, they're probably going to jump a cliff or something. They're going to try to do something insane with it just for the, the lulls and the stories. They want to look great while they do it. But what they don't want to do is get that vehicle fixed or get a new one or whatever they're going to do with it. They don't want to correct it. They're just going to go insane with it until it is dead but clint are you overreacting no no i'm not not at all <laughs> i'm not overreacting how are they doing this well this is a great example this is kickstarter this is indie comics okay and to be fair i am sure there are a lot of comics on kickstarter that are probably great they're little gems they're in there somewhere probably not on the first page though though you're really gonna have to figure out where exactly they are but maybe they're there, okay? Let's be fair. I'll, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. There probably are. We'll say half of them are amazing, okay? I'll be generous. But why is the other half the ones being promoted all the time? I don't get this. Why is that happening? And why are the ones that are being promoted aimed at such a small group of people to alienate everyone else? It's not as if comics, the medium, is already aimed at such a small group of people that are interested in reading sequential art with word balloons no no they have to make it an even smaller group of people by focusing on such niche interests that only a few people are going to be willing to buy it where are all the mainstream comics at Th this again this is indie comics this is where you know it's the playground and people can do whatever they want the problem is is that when indie comics right here are spilling over into what mainstream comics are doing. Not just spilling over, but when there's no difference. When mainstream comics look just like experimental indie comics, there is a problem. And last point here, why is this project, Hey Amateur, I, I, I get it, it's being, it's being led by an editor for IDW, but why is this thing on the front page and being promoted? It's just, it's an anthology full of one page stories. Why is this being promoted so heavily by Kickstarter? Anthologies like this are basically the equivalent of multi-level marketing <laughs> in the rest of the world because you get enough people into the, the pyramid, so to speak, writing comics, and they're supposed to go turn around and get their family and friends to back it so that they can all get published. The problem is that a lot of these people, they're not nobodies. You've got Donny Cates in here for crying out loud, and they still can't get it funded. This... <laughs> Still can't get it funded after all these people guaranteed many of them are purchasing, they're buying their own book to get it done and then they're begging mom and dad to buy it. They're still not funded. They have five days left. If they're looking for 50 grand, maybe they'll get there. Maybe. I don't know. It's possible, I guess. Now, this would be fine if you want to spend your money on an anthology like this. More power to you. If you want to make an anthology like this and you're not getting funded, my suggestion would be to take a look at what you're making and try to go some try to go a little bit more mainstream. For some reason, that's a dirty word in comics, and everybody wants to make something that's so strange and weird that nobody's going to be interested in it. What happened to mainstream marketability? Well, it certainly is not at Marvel anymore. They don't care. <laughs> of all the people, Marvel Comics should be the ones making the most digestible comics for everybody. And if I gave them a lot of leeway, I would say, hey, have a title like or, or two titles. Let's be generous. Make a couple titles that are specifically for the really highly political left that you want to pander to make, go ahead and make a couple of stories for them. And that way they know if they read, you know, squirrel girl, wherever it is that it's right up their alley. It's going to be reciting their ideology. But besides that, maybe you should make things for everybody. Maybe you should make comics that actually do appeal to everybody on any level. And Marvel's going to say, well, the only way we can do that is if people see themselves reflected in the comics. No, this is not true. That's not how it works. People read good stories and they find universal themes and they will relate to those. Trust me, there's a reason 
why Spider-Man is so popular. There's a reason why the X-Men are men are so popular. It's because you can apply their stories and their situations to your life. It is vague enough. It is vague enough that it sounds like it's written just for you. That is how it works in the mainstream. So what is Marvel really interested in? Well, at least they're going for it now. This is just uh, something from the D20 Expo 2019. Marvel Superhero Project is heading to Disney Plus on November 12th. What is this, you ask? It's just a big PR stunt. That's what this is. Uh, you've even got Sana Aminat here. The goal isn't comics or to sell more comics. The goal is to say, hey, we own superheroes. Therefore, we want to honor heroes. Now, what's so wrong with this? I'm being too cynical. Maybe it's just that time and time again, all they care about are social issues. And so now they're addressing that. They're going to go flat out <laughs> and make, a, I guess, a television series that's going to be highlighting different kids that have done things for social issues. Uh, I can guarantee you, though, none of these kids are going to be Catholic, uh, you know, schoolboys that are marching and like the March for Life or something like that. They're all going to be very, very left wing issues. Uh, and I guarantee you, as I look through some of them, some of them are kind of, you know, mainstream, but many of them are absolutely left wing issues. And of course, they're going to leave out the others because this is what their goal is. It's not about making comics anymore, it's about making a statement, it's about challenging the way you think and replacing it with something else that they think is better for you. It's about making comics like this. Marvel's all-female villain team takes an aim at toxic ma masculinity. Forget that these characters are evil villains. They are still held down by the patriarchy. Maybe that's how they, they justify being so evil. I don't get, though, why on earth they portray men in such fake ways. It's not even like the stereotypical, uh, you know, dumb, fat dad that has been you know, basically ruling all of television the past 20 years, 25 years plus. No, it's this new stereotype that has been made up from feminist ideology. And this is the new male figure. And it's a dude that is constantly hitting on women and just too dense to understand, <laughs> I, I guess, to take no for an answer. I don't know. Like, what is it exactly that you're trying to accomplish? It's about taking on real issues, though, like mansplaining. That you have here you know everybody can condescend and everyone can be condescended to but i guess that's another matter altogether who are they trying to reach with this who i don't know who it is i would like love to know who that audience is and, and know why they're not buying comics but this is incredibly frustrating because the way i see it there can only be two things one they see a market that they want they believe that it can really support comic books or two they don't care about the comic book market and what they're really out for is making points with their few friends who believe in their political ideology. Where's the comic book for men's right activism? Would that be annoying? Yeah, it would. <laughs> it would. I'm not asking for something, some kind of counterpoint to any of this. I'm not asking for that. I'm not asking for a different perspective. That's meant for higher education. We could have that discussion for sure. There should be counterpoints there in all the other places that uh, this kind of mindset controls. We could have a counterpoint. What I'm asking for is to just do something that appeals for everybody. Do something that we can all agree on that's just entertaining, where it doesn't bash you for whoever you are, what you look like, what you smell like, maybe what you smell like. Start caring about comics, please, especially you Marvel. You're controlling things right now. Please do not drive this into the ground. Well, I'm not going to wait for Marvel, of course, and many, many, many other people aren't. If you go look at Indiegogo, this is actually a merit-based system. <laughs> so you can post your comic there, and based off of how you're able to market and sell that thing to your customers, it will basically promote your book on the first page, if, if you can do it has nothing to do with your belief system, has nothing to do with what you look like, none of that. They're completely agnostic to what you look like and what you believe. They just care about good books. So here's one. Here's the most mainstream book that you're going to find, or at least one of them on Indiegogo. This is my book, Downcast. Please check it out. Man, we just got more backers coming in, 29852 We're less than $150 away from hitting 30,000 and that's without a team of people writing this anthology all selling to their mothers and sisters and all that. So thank you everybody that backed it. I really, really do appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I know I've been a little frustrated in this video. <laughs> I don't know, I've been thinking about this stuff a lot. I hope I got the message through. 
but things need to change. And I really think that the goal should be targeting more people to enjoy comics and not fewer. Thank you very much. Let me know what you know, what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, make sure you're still, still subscribe, ring the bell, all that good stuff. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.